welcome back to the channel. I'm the Crimson Canadian Mactor, and today, guys, we're going to be back into um, King's Raid. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be trying to get these videos up uh, more often. Uh, I've been having some uh, health issues and personal issues with work, so it's been a little bit uh, more challenging. But uh, we're back into this game, guys, uh, thankfully, and I'm looking forward to doing this uh, this game again. Now, for this, this video, we're going to be looking over my newest hero I picked up. Now I'm going to be doing this one as I picked up two new heroes. Uh, I got Nikki. Now with Nikki, her base, her first skill is has a disarmament. Um, basically, she's going to reduce their or er, reduce her P block. Uh, very good skill. Second skill swings the weapon, attack enemies in a circular range of self seven times. Each hit deals physical damage. Um, it reduces physical defense by 30% if the target is if it's hero, and if it's not a hero, it's going to increase by 30%. So she's going to be really good for the world boss. Skill 4. Sets a position, focuses and attacks enemies in a wide frontal range to deal physical damage. Dispels all positive effects, knocks them down for 5 seconds, or 6 seconds. Deals additional physical damage to non-heroes for this skill. Accuracy and CC accuracy will be increased by 500. So, and then her passive. Increased attack by a, a certain amount and crit chance. When HP falls below 30%, she goes into a curl madness. Curl madness will affect removes all night effects from self, increases her attack and attack speed. Reduces damage received by 50% and grants immunity to CC. This can only be activated once per battle. Now, she is a overall beast of a character. 100%. No doubt about it, she is a beast of a character. If you are looking for a hero that's going to help bolster your our team at any point in this game, whether it's world boss, whether it's um, raids, dungeons, uh, PvP, she is a... Just a great character to have on your roster. Now, when it comes down to it, guys, there she is an NPC, so you do have to grind up her her tokens to be able to get her or her friendship. Um, I had to do that after I did Juno. Now, with Juno, I wanted a Juno because I wanted a good cleanser, good healer on my team. That's why I went for her first, and then I was going for Nikki after. It took me a little bit longer because the thing with this game, guys, is when you want to get a hero, and especially an NPC hero, and you want to get their unique weapon, you cannot use a unique weapon ticket outside of um, a Lua's unique weapon ticket to get their ticket. You actually have to grind up their friendship tokens again to be able to grab their unique weapon, which is a... It's, I'm not going to lie, guys. It's a bit of a pain. Uh, it, it takes a long time to do. So I'm currently doing that again. Now... When it comes to NPCs, uh, it's all going to come down to who you want to grab. I wanted these two specifically because I wanted to get more into the PvP prospect of the game. And I wanted to show that. But I'll also, they are very, like, in my personal opinion, overall, all around, Juno, Nikki, probably the top two NPCs you can pick up. You can get Loman for uh, PvP and you can get Tosada for PvP. They're specifically for PvP, I believe. They they don't have much use outside of that, um, and they they can be changed. Uh, can be uh, there's other tanks you can use like Demia, two star hero, great tank, has a great kit to her that you can use in PvP where you can use those two as well. But again, it comes down to what your team is and what you want. Now the reason why we want Nikki, Nikki it can be used in the Temple of the Sun. She is a great. Uh, warrior to use there with all her skills all her CC her reducing uh, physical damage if you can build a good strong warrior team and tank team built around that that temple of the sun will be very easily easily conquered with Nikki on that team now a good simple team to use with her uh, Nikki gal uh, a lot of people like to use chase and that team uh, I know Tweeby shout out to Tweeby he uses chase on that team um, and then, you know, a Glenn Wiss would be a good on that team. Yeah, you could use, use Demi on that team as well. Uh, but no, I would definitely use like the Glenn Wiss. Uh, Scarlet would be good on that team as well. She does a lot of CC damage. Um, a lot, a lot of people think she's just PvP, but Scarlet on that team as well will work. But the kick for Nikki just makes it so much easier to do. That all around CC, she, I mean, she's just a great character to build. Um, I absolutely love her, and I'm looking forward to being able to use her in long, ra wide range of uh, gameplay here. Now, with her, this is just going to be the basic spotlight. I'm going to show you the kind of gear I'm going to look forward to her. Uh, we've gone over her skills. We're doing her transcendence. She's only two-star right now. 
I won't be able to do a more in-depth spotlight on her until I get her unique weapon. Once I get her unique weapon, then she'll then she'll really shine, and we will go into a more in-depth spotlight on her. But I want to share my newest hero, I and how excited I am to be able to grab her and be able to use her. Now, because of her ability, and she's got life steal, and her passive increases attack. I definitely suggest when you do her T perks, get this one here, the Blood Wraith. Increase life steal by 200 and her I think it's attack speed. It's just going to make her that beast in that front line that no one can take down. And especially when it comes down to PvP, she will be in your front line. She's not a backliner. She's in the front line. She's going to be CCing the, the other team. She's going to be there to, you know, tank for you as well. Uh, she's not the greatest to tank because she's a warrior. She's not classified as a tank. But you can build her tanky. And be able to get it to those points now for PvP I would definitely look for because her skills are high costing they are two three and four I believe for mana you definitely want to try and get a black gear a black dragon gear on her and then hero protection on her I wouldn't go for more hero damage I would go for hero protection because again she's in the front line she's gonna be taking a lot of damage you want her to get her skills off so I would definitely be going into black dragon gear and hero protection gear now luckily i've been farming a lot and getting up there with this guys i'm able to actually get her uh good a good protection hero protection gear on and good um black dragon gear on her now we do want good p block good m block on her we want m tough m defense p defense uh good hp I wouldn't be going a lot of crit on her. I know some people are like, oh yeah, you know, make her really damagey. But if you make her too much damage and she's in that front line, she's going to get blown up. So you want to get uh, a good balance of damage and tankiness on her. Because you just let her skills do the work for you. Her skill, like that, is it her fourth skill? I think it's her, no, her third skill, sorry. That knocks him down for six seconds. That's six seconds of knockdown. That's six seconds that you're... Your squishies in the back line can sit there and be like, hey, you're not touching me. I'm going to deal all the damage to you. Like... Honestly, I think the best arena team with her, you're looking at her, you're looking at probably uh, a Demia, maybe even a Glenwis. Backline, Panzerone. I uh, definitely Panzerone because uh, Panzerone is going to be a beast with her. And maybe Lavrel or Juno. So, but if you don't have Juno because Juno's an NPC, Lavrel is a good one to pick up. And even uh, Elias to help bolster their defensive scats. Um, but I would, if you're going for a pure cleave team, Lavrel. You're looking at, again, Nikki, Glenwis, Demia. Glenwis slash Demia. Panzerone. Uh, you could do a chase. Uh, I wouldn't do chase. Uh, Cecilia, Cecilia would be a good one with her as well. Lots of CC in that team as well. And then for uh, Priest, top one, Juno. If you have Juno, Juno, Nikki, good. Use them together. Uh, other options, Med Medina, Mediana, Median, Median. I can't, I have such a hard time pronouncing some of these names. Median, um, Lavril. I think Lavril paired with her. Because, uh, you know, Plavril will bolst bolster Panzerone's attack and crit damage. Sorry, her crit damage. And then you will uh, just go to town on them once uh, Nikki uses either her cleanse or her or her knockdown or, and reduce PD PDF. Um, any other free second think of? Oh, Cassandra. Cassandra might be magical, but she's a really great PvP. She... Uh, Bolsters your attack while also doing damage to uh, the other team and healing your soul again. So, optional tanks with Nikki. Demia. Glenwis. If you have them, Desorda or Lolman. But again, this is more of a beginner's or lower tier, lower advanced game. We're not the higher advanced guys who have like all like the top tier, you know, five star U UWs, all the NPCs. This is for people who are just getting into the game. Um, you know, they've got a couple NPCs. So we're not going to include too many of the uh, NPCs. Um, so again, Tank, uh, Demia, Glenwis, Lolman, Desorda. Lolman, Desorda, again, NPCs. Don't worry too much about them. Um, worry about getting MP Nikki her unique weapon. Damage Dealer. I would definitely, definitely suggest Panzerone. She's going to help Cleave. Uh, Cecilia. Uh, I think those two would be my top two. Oh, Kybera, Kybera's Kybera's physical damage, right? 
I have to go back and look. Kibera. Kibera is definitely an option if he's physical. I think he's physical. Don't hold me against that one, guys. I can't remember. Uh, I haven't been using Kibera too much, but uh, I've definitely been using it with Pan's Realm. And then Priest, you're looking at Laveral, Juno, Medion, Cassandra. Those four. And Elias, if you're going for more of a defensive uh, team. Because, uh, again, I would definitely save the Priest side for... Especially if you're doing LOH, say the priest for the end of it because you're going to want to see what you're going to need. If you're going to need more heals, more cleanse, you know, you're going for Lias or you're going for Juno. If you're looking for defensive or tanky, sorry, not tanky, defensive tanky, those are Lias and Juno. If you're looking for more damage and damage output, you're looking at Medion, Cassandra, and Laveral. Or Juno, like Juno, again, I think the top two paired together NPC, Juno, Laveral. Sorry, not Juno, Laveral. Juno, Nikki. Those two are great. Uh, May is more of a uh, PVE, I would suggest. She has her PvP aspects, but PVE. So again, if you're going to be going, looking into getting into LOH World Boss, these two again in World Boss 2, the Physical Damage World Boss, are a great paired together, Nikki and uh, Juno. So I think those two, I'm glad I went for those two to start off with. Those two are my two favorite heroes. I'm glad I picked them up, and those are the ones that I'm going to be using. I will do, again, once I get Nikki's UW, we will go into a more in-depth spotlight on her. We will go into more depth PvP, PvE. Um, also, TOH, TOH, Tower of Challenge, TOC. Uh, I think she's going to be really good for the... Um, the Chimera ch challenge, but I have to play around with that one. I'm still having some issues with that one. Um, I'm just getting a, more and more gear, more and more people leveled up. Um, and as you've seen through the game too, I do have Hainus, so we will do another uh, spotlight on Hainus too. But again, that's the problem with doing champion spotlights on the NPCs. They don't. You, you need to grind up their their, le their levels to get them, and then you need to grind them up again to get their. Um, their unique weapon. I mean, you can't get unique treasures. Those aren't uh, hindered by uh, the tickets, but you, the unique weapons are usually what makes them uh, unique. Oh, sorry about the pun, guys, but it makes them unique and makes them stronger. So uh, we will do a spotlight on her as well, but this one has been specifically about Nikki and where I am going to be using her and how much I'm looking forward to getting her T5 and leveled up. Um, again, there is one other way to get their unique weapons for the uh, NPCs, and that is with the Lua's um purchasing you have to get 500 of those special tokens to be able to purchase a unique weapon ticket for npc included so there is that option too but then again it's spending money a lot of people don't want to spend money now i did get that velcro's rune if you guys saw that velcro's rune that rune is ridiculous 11 percent attack 22 percent crit damage that is 100 percent going on my panzer own uh i just got it the other day but this is the gear gunner. I got our two blacks. I went double HP. Um, you can put attack uh, stats on her if you get some good HP on her. These are her stats right now. 4 million HP. She's got uh, 65,000 attack. For roughly 4K or 40K on both MDF defense. She's got uh, good P block, good M block. She got some penetration for her skills, a little bit of crit rate, uh, some MP recovery. Again, we want to get those skills off. And then we're going to be getting some M tough and some other stuff as well. So, other than that, guys, that's the beginning spotlight on Nikki for me. The one of my favorite NPCs already. And pairing her with Juno is going to be great. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, we will be bringing you another uh, spotlight on her as soon as I get her ready. And we'll be doing something like this with the Trial of the Earth with her. Other than that, guys, I'll talk to you next time. And stay chilly.